Uh, I'll be talking about my uh, research on, maybe I'm not going to be talking about anything. <laughs> uh, okay, it's extremely fast. Uh, this is really annoying. Okay. Uh, so I've been doing a research around the scales of the earliest, uh, I have to keep pushing this, uh, earliest Kondrichtian uh, uh, scales in, uh, in the fossil record. And what I want to talk about is how these relate to uh, theories about evolution of dentitions in jawed fish and in particular Kondrichtians. So we're moving finally to the second slide. And this is, um, so this is, uh, this is, um, this is what the typical Elasmo uh, Brown dentitions look like. They're very ordered uh, in tooth rows, and each tooth row basically has the potential, or tooth family has the potential of generating new teeth and shedding old ones. So this is very different from, you see the scales, which are, have like this random uh, arrangement. And one of the key questions is how, how is this difference explained? So molecular studies, show that these, um, this, uh, there's, a core, there's a core set of genes that basically is responsible for generation of teeth and scales. So this, is, this implies deep homology between the two. And there is a set of genes in, in identified in teeth that actually appear uh, to be different, the expression of these genes appear to be different or at least not identified in scales. But this hasn't explained how um, how patterning is achieved, basically, in, um, in, in, in both. Uh, and what, uh, what's interesting is that now fossils can actually shed some light on that, but, in, so, but in, we have to know, basically, we have to be able to identify this kind of uh, pattern, which is the ordered pattern of two, two uh, families in the fossil record and in stem group chondrichtians. And some of these, uh, in the past, 10 years, uh, acantodians have been identified as stem group chondrichtians. And they, this, this is what they look like. Weakly, they have a weakly mineralized endoskeleton. Oops, sorry. Uh, and the, on the other hand, the exoskeleton is quite extensive, represented by spines, scales, and tesserae. So, um, yeah, so re recently, most phylogenies agree that acantodians are a paraphylet, as a, par a paraphyletic assemblage of stem chondrichtians. And what that means for the, uh, in, for the evolution of dentitions in the group is that acantodians display, um, see down there, down bottom right, you see that they have these two worlds, some, some of them at least. There's a lot of forms that you see in the phylogeny that are like dentitions. So they have either tooth worlds which are fused and arranged in tooth-like manner, uh, in, in, in a manner that's seen in uh, derived chondrichtians. And there's also a subset of these acantodians that have these fused um, teeth to the, to, the, to the jaw bones. So uh, this is supposed to be a, a primitive pattern of um, uh, dentition ar arrangement in chondrichtians. And if you look at the more derived forms, the eucondrichtians here on, on the on the cladogram, you see that they have a different different way of diff oh, it's the same patterning, but they dispense with the support of the of the of the teeth, so they they are separate and they're shed. So um, in terms of the scales of these acantodians, uh, they have actually a, an ordered arrangement, which means that. It might imply that there's some order already present uh, in the arrangement, arranging of uh, od 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 odontodes in the, in the exoskeleton, but studies of like developmental series of uh, acantodians have shown that actually these develop in a very different manner to dentitions, and on top of that, each scale is a compound element, which means it's made of several odontodes, so the patterning and the way these are added is very different from that in dentition. So what I've worked on is identifying another set of taxa which are ba basically uh, constrained to this uh, uh, or division Siwurian. And they, these, like for decades, have been suggested to be some sort of chondrichtian remains. But until recently, this, these <coughs> taxa have not been incorporated into a, um, a frame of uh, uh, the phylogeny of chondrichtians or in jawed fish in, gen in general. So they appear earlier than the, the first known appearance of eochondrichtian uh, remains in the lower Devonian. Oops, um, excuse me. So this is 
what I produced, this is phylogeny, and these um, uh, in gray and purple, you see these, uh, these, some of these taxa, which are resolved in, uh, in this phylogeny as stem chondrichthyans, although there's still some discrepancies, as, as you can see, some crown, uh, some um, eochondrichthyans like Yanasa appear to be stem taxa, which in, in, is inconsistent with uh, the rest of the tree. So th this might imply that these taxa are indeed basal, basal chondrichthians. And what's interesting, and you see this group in purple, these are the Mongolepids. They're known from uh, various places, North America, Mongolia, China, and they have um, this, uh, these compounds, uh, crowns, which have these structural elements shown here in, in, in pink. So they basically roll of dawn toads and with each, uh, within each row, the odontoids increase in size towards the posterior of the scale, and, you can, we know, and they're growing scales, and we know that because the basal tissue, the basal bone is growing, and the, one, the, the odontoids that are on top of the basal bone are the earliest ones formed, and also in some taxa you see there's the posterior odontoids have less de dentin infill than the more anterior ones. So in terms of um, this pattern being, this pattern is also identified in more derived scales. So the scales of um, eochondrichthians, like Ctenacan type scales. So it, it's not just an occurrence in, in mongolipids. So in terms of the, um, how, how the, the structure of mongolipid scales matches to the, uh, the dentition of chondrichthians, you can see that these kinds of, these odontal complexes are a perfect fit for even their uh, perfect fit for tooth families, and they even offset uh, relative to each other in a way the tooth families are. Um, and e actually, the uh, individual scale of an odont of a mongolepid, all the all the odontoids of the of the of the crown are equivalent to a whole dentition in terms of developmental patterning. So this might suggest a, a scenario where this kind of or the arrangement of odontoids, the tooth-like arrangement of odontoids occurred first in the dermal skeleton, and then it was transferred, and, and it was transferred to the oropharyngeal skeleton uh, in the form of like, fused uh, odontoids, and then subsequently in, in eochondrichthians, this was slightly modified, and the, and the basal tissue was lost, so that's, um, pretty much it. I just want to add that this kind of pattern is actually um, not identified in, in stem jaw uh, fish like flacoderms. So this is only a, a, a crown, crown group characteristic. Thank you.